from Selena to William. She was pregnant. Oh, jeez. So she was pregnant and she told Jim and he's he wants control her to get an abortion. Can't keep the baby. He tells me we can't keep the baby as if it's bro- broken furniture we can throw away. I tell him that maybe we can, but I we can't. But we but I can. I can. Yeah, he refuses. He wants me, but not the child. So if she... Did she then take refuge with William? Yeah, maybe, in Black Lake. Where's the baby? So it's this one here. So we've got several options. There's several rooms we can go into now. Do you think there's a ghost baby? I don't know. Ooh, there was a... Did that go through the door? Yeah, yeah. I think it went through the door. Oh, yeah. Oh, shitty bumps. Oh, yeah, there was a light switch somewhere in here, wasn't there? I just don't... Oh, there it is. Ugh. There's some weird stuff in this room. Yeah, well, I guess it's Margaret's old painting room. Yeah. I've been watching the Great Painting Challenge as well, on and off. It's not like the... Great British Bake Off, but... Yeah, it's not as exciting. It's like the Great Allotment Challenge as well. Again, not as exciting. <laughs> I'm, de- I'm dictating this message to Sarah. Something awful happened to me today. I was painting the garden, shielded from the sun by an umbrella when I had one of these blanks. When I came back to my senses, I was looking straight at the sun, eyes wide open, the burning like a fire dagger stuck deep into my orbits. Um, how long do I stay like that? Sarah says I got st- sunburnt. I don't think that's the whole story, but I can't ignore the pain. So she potentially made herself blind by, like, blacking out and staring at the sun. Mm. Oh, dear. That's pretty bad. So that's sort of, like, the part of her descent into um, darkness and, I guess, yeah. William's ascent into light. After my accident last year, my sights fall into a critical threshold, as if he turned his back and on me and started walking away the world's out of my reach I can't see but I cried a lot refusing the obvious during the day the world is like a white canvas filled with blurred shapes which disappear as soon as the sun sets um, using special glasses on my face close to the paper I can write a little using the same tools I can paint as well I had electric lights installed in my office the hard work triggers awful headaches that only morphine manages to fight off barely I think William is trying to take advantage of my weakness to try and escape my reach he has no compassion he doesn't love me Probably never loved me. Well, you didn't exactly give him a lot to love, did you? No, not really. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, so this clearly is sort of like her later works as yeah, she went it's blind. Yeah, like joined up properly and things. Yeah. But, ugh. And it's all sort of nightmarish and Yeah, so yucky. you can push that painting. Yeah, there was a but note there. Oh. Victim's note. Dear Mrs. Walsh, I did all I could to support your application, but our manager is one of those pigs who believe women steal jobs from men and won't allow them to put the country back into shape. I'm so sorry. I know how badly you need a job. At least you won't have to deal with this ugly hound who thinks himself a leader. Men like him are precisely the reason why all this is happening. The world came to be thanks to people of both genders. And it will be saved the same way. God bless you, and I will come visit you. Perhaps both genders was not the way to phrase that but yes all genders all genders Let's all races all peoples that. peoples just peoples everyone so that's lit something up in the next room so was that the room we just came from i assume so or it might be the, one of the ones with the door so there's a door there i don't want to go into that one yeah or do i the curiosity of why is a chair propped against the door was too much, wasn't it? I'm going to go and save, though. Good call. I'm going to go over here and save. St- so there's still a ghosty over there. Ugh. No, thank you, ghosty. But it's all right. We've got more light. We've got a save. We've got more light. It's actually pretty good. So there's a ladder there. So we do need to get to that switch somehow, but I'm sure we'll figure something out maybe. Or maybe... Because I... That's, no, that's the outside, that's the outside that's right. window. But there'll but be another one. Somewhere. That's lighting something. So was there another door over here somewhere? No, there wasn't. No. Do you love me? No. Well, yes, but it's complicated. Well. Is that... thing is, is that actually a ladder or is it just propped up? 
It looks like it's just um, propped up. After what happened this afternoon with Dad, Mother scolded me. She said I ruined her appointment with the deputy and the banker. So it sounds like her parents were assholes as well. Yeah. Uh, she said we would be even poorer than we already were, and it would be all my fault <laughs> that I provoked Dad that I woke him up. I got angry too, saying Father should be in a hospital. We don't have the money. She yelled. And I yelled, let's throw over the ocean and be done with it. Sure. She stared at me for a long time without talking. Um, I was shaking when she asked me if I realised what I just said. I still leave out very calm and answered, do you want to save our family? Then do what has to be done. We have to think about those who will be coming after more than about those we love or about ourselves. So she pretty much said, marry me off? Yeah. For money rather than for love? And also said kill the father, which is a little bit cold. I can't find where that light switch is around the is side it? there. Because sh- the hanging woman's there. Yeah. Maybe there isn't one there then. Yeah, so we'll, le- we'll leave that for now and come back to that in a second. So there's a door here. Oh, oh wait, no, that, there's not a door there. There was... There's that, but we can't get in there. Okay, we can't get in there. Oh! Oh! The switch was there! The switch was there! What, under her? It was on the wall post. <laughs> I love how he's just freaking out, even though she's just not following. Can she actually follow if she's hanging? I don't know. Or will she just grab at you? She was having a good try. Right, so it's here. Oh, thanks. There's, there's a note as well. I don't think she's following you. Oh no, she is. The noose has disappeared. So she comes out of the noose. Oh, that's a bit annoying. The switch was right there. I guess you've just got to be quick about it. I literally just brushed up against it. So if I do what I did before. Thanks, opportune grandfather clock. Oh, balls off. You got it, you got it. Done good. That was tough. Where was that note then? It was, was it behind the bed? There. Victim's note five. Anna, I just woke up and saw the message left on the table. You should avoid Black Lake. People are saying more and more girls just disappear when they're working there. I know this is where the bigwigs go to have fun, but could as well go to Hughes, even if there are more cops. I'm serious, you should think about it. I'm on my way to the soup kitchen. If you really want to make me happy, get one of those pigs to buy you a chocolate bar. We can enjoy it together later, Shirley. Well, she didn't come back. Oh, good. You've got a cheve for looking at the rope. Chivo! I do sometimes wonder about that, like... Oh, cheve, you what, saw someone committed you, suicide. Yeah, how you select what cheves are cheves. Yeah. And some are, like, really obvious. It's like, oh, you completed this level. But, yeah, some of the weird side ones... Right, so this room's a little bit nicer now. I'm going to save, and then we'll go through that door at the end. What, the chair one? The chair door. Now, I thought, I thought, for some reason, I thought there was a door down here. Down here? Down here? Down here? There's a door down here, is there? Yeah. Don't worry, loves. Cavalry's here. Flippin' <laughs> heck. I was watching EastEnders out of curiosity, and I was watching Danny Dyer. Oh, I like Danny Dyer. Danny Dyer, he's mate. He's made the show a bit better yeah, recently. Yeah, he's great. Danny, Danny Dyer. Danny Dyer. Did, uh, there was the, the bit about his son came out, was gay. Yeah, and, and he everyone was thought like, Danny Dyer would be really like anti, anti it, but actually, he was quite good about it. Yeah. So yeah, he's actually a nice character. Yeah. And the guy's quite nice as well, actually. Yeah, he's, he's, an interview. he's, a, mis- he's a misguided sometimes, I think, in things he says, like his column. Yeah. Where he said that you should cut women. Um, <laughs> thanks, Danny Dyer. Yeah, thanks, jerk. thanks, Danny Dyer. You jerk. Oh, bada bing. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I love how as well he said, "I'm never gonna go on EastEnders. I'm never gonna do it." Well, it's because he didn't want to get um, typecast. Typecast as an East End, uh, <laughs> e- East London. Which is London. what he's done his entire. Yeah. Oh, man. And then he was like, oh, yeah, EastEnders is a nice retirement place for me. And it's like, actually, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I like. I quite like this. St- I, I sort of dip into it every now and then just to see what's going on. Um. Hmm. So we're just back in here then. So where's the window, though? Where did that window go to? Where did the, tw- where did the window go to? So if- it must be something in that corner... 
mm. um, that we're missing. It, it, like the shape of the room, it would have to be either another room or so if we go one back in here, bends around. Oh, go around to this side. Have a so little look. it's there. Yeah. Now I would have thought that that distinct light pattern would be quite obvious if we found it. Okay, so we'll go back in here. Do we want to go that way then? Yeah, like down towards mm -hmm. here. Do you want to? Do you want to? There we go. Oh, is it in there? Is that a door? Ah! <gasps> door behind wheelchair. Derp. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, a camera. Projection room. Is there someone in the chair? I got a bad feeling about this. Was there a map? I found the map. Is there a map? That's handy. So presumably... Came in there. That's the painting room. That's the big room. We're in this room here. Yeah. So what is in that room? So these are the two rooms here. That tiny room at the end. There is a woman nearby. Yeah. Where is she? Oh. oh there's a creepy obelisk. What? Yeah. It belongs in a museum. Yeah. Damn straight it belongs in a museum. Oh, there is a spy thing. Uh, not a spy thing, a telescope. <laughs> spy glass. A spy thing. Like, I've been looking at I've been looking at pirate games again. Found a game called uh, I think it was called Raven Sky or Raven Sails. Yeah. And it's like being released on um I'd never heard of it. It's being released on um consoles. Like later this year. Yeah. On Amazon. I was looking at it going, I've never heard of this. I've heard no publicity. What's this? But it sounds like all the stuff from Black Flag, which was piratey and cool. Yeah. Looked it up on Steam. It's been out since January this year. Overwhelmingly <laughs> negative reviews because it's so badly patched. Oh, no. I was like, oh, well, I can't play that then. Because it looked like Mass Effect, but for pirates. I was quite excited. But yeah. apparently it's absolute dog shit. Aww. That's sad. So he's talking about um He Egyptian. found a thing, he found a statue of Isis, a goddess of the heavens, queen of the heavens. Yeah. Well, she's like um, the equivalent of Hera and... Yeah, so it's more it's him talking about... Mythology and yeah. moons. Moons in that. Okay, so we need to find a film to put in the projector, I'm guessing. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, just do... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's downstairs. Below the stairs. So we're going to the basement now. It was always going to happen, Hannah. Great. We've been in the attic. Now we're going to the basement. What else do you need from a horror game? Ugh. It was always going to happen. It was. Was it, it was the, what was it, Chekhov's gun? Uh, yes. Is that the, the plot Selena's thing? Selena's calls for help were scattered all oh. over the mansion. She was following a goal. An obsession. This part of her life, she was playing in front of me. Oh, that might be the and room. What about yeah. me? Spending so much time in the darkness, I was losing my light. But luckily, I had a star to guide me. Oh, so actually, maybe we don't need to go to the basement. Or maybe we do. Oh, come on! That's totally like footsteps of blood down to the basement. Oh, look at the basement. Oh no! Actually, yeah, we could oh, go there's in a the room basement. Of blood. Could we? Because it was blocked. But it's not blocked now. Oh, great. Because we've definitely got the killer in the house. Yeah. Speaking of, you know in Until Dawn that we were going to look at, and we are still going to look at because it looks amazing, you know who the killer is, don't you? Look Until at the trailers. Dawn. Until Dawn. The Hayden Until... Panettiere Waterbot one. The cheerleader. Yes. The teenagers on a mountain at night. Yes. Have you seen what the killer wears? No. He's got a clown mask. I looked at it, I was like, oh shit, Kim is not going to be pleased with this. We'll just, like, give you a cushion. You can hide behind it. Faithful, think, loving cushion. Oh, God. I think we'll both be displeased, though, because I'm not a fan either. William! She who receives the light of the sun in order to survive a never-ending light is like us, Luna. More bollocks about Luna and... Praying to her, I guess. I am your devoted son, or whatever you want me to be. So he found a mother in the moon. What a lovely gentleman. And then gave her blood. 
Blood, mum, blood. Mum wants blood. Gallons of the stuff. So what does this mean? So we, we've we we've opened up the skylight. Those are the signs of the zodiac. I yeah. know that much. Thanks, witchery. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a stat so does this mean anything? Does this mean anything? I don't think so. I think we have to go all the way back downstairs again, maybe. So these are Hello. the papers. Did, yeah, what what was it letting you look at there? Ah. Oh. When the wooden floor is too noisy, it always has something to hide. So ah. there we go. Ah. Cellar. Now we've got the key. Now we can descend to the underworld. Good. Cellar was written on the key. Great. I suppose, I suppose, actually, I suppose the argument for like basement, cellar, attic, having ghosts and stuff is that there's a collection of things there. It's where you store things. Yeah. Because so that's the argument, isn't it? So you have, if there's stuff shape. attached to ghosts. Yeah. Um, alternatively, if you're like charmed, you may just live on a vortex of evil that you have to look after. I watched that all recently. It was very weird. Did I tell you about it? I saw... Um, it's basically the US equivalent of Casualty. So all, all the starting actors appear on it as extras. Uh, so in the same episode... Where's she going? She's leading us to the door. I'll come back to you on that. Oh. So, you know, if you could kill all the ghosts for me, that would be great. Hello. I can touch you now. You're a corporeal being. Babe. What's he doing? Don't fall in love with a ghost, sweetheart. It will come back to haunt you. It's bad news, bear. What's she doing? No. Seeing Selena flee strengthened my belief something darker was closing in. Why is there a wolf? A wolf hidden amongst men. Why was there a howl then? It felt like finding a lost love, but being on the brink of losing it again. Oh, shit. I had to be quick. But safe first. <laughs> But say first, yes. Yeah. I had to be quick is always the thing. Yeah, um, so in this one episode of Charmed, there was Castiel from Supernatural. Yeah. And Hank from Breaking Bad. <laughs> in the same, so Castiel was like a good guy. Yeah. And Hank was a demon that basically just played Hank. And it was just so weird when he appeared. I was like, is that, is that? And then I spent the whole thing going, is that, is that Castiel as well? Um, I had to look it up. Oh shit! Oh, oh, she got stabbed. But by who? William or Margaret? Well, I think so surely Lena Margaret's dead man, by then. Just like William, the so-called Black Lake Wolf, had fled his mother. Oh yes, of course. That's why he says wolf. The real wolf was in the blood. It was the night of the world. Its fangs, sunken deep in the flesh of America, had poisoned us all long ago. He's very poetic about this stuff, isn't he? Goodness. <laughs> Just like, Maybe that's part of being a 1930s detective. Yeah, I suppose it comes with the territory, doesn't it? <laughs> You've got a wax lyrical. You should do this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There we go. Hello. Have to use both hands. Hello. 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 